Hi, this is Joe, and today I'll be reviewing the Inno Gear 8000 milliamp solar charger model SZ-2122. Um, I'll show you what comes in the package. You get a solar charger, and you get a micro USB uh, connector, which is good because this is a standard connector. You probably have lots of these uh, around your house. Let me take it out. Um, it says you get a user manual, but I did not get a user manual of mine, nor did I see any room where a user manual would, would be able to fit in such a tiny box. Um, so, um, you know, I, uh, the box is also listed here. Uh, you got to be careful. The box says it's listed for a 12,000 milli, I don't know if you can see that, 12,000 milliamp capacity. Well, that, that's just not the case. It's an 8,000 amp. It's a solar power, so... Uh, definitely we get the box reprinted because that's a big uh, big difference between 12,000 milliamp hours and 8,000 milliamp hours. Uh, the back does have some specifications, so this could be the user manual on the back. Um, basically just tells you that it's got its input is 1 amp and it's got output 1 at 1 amp and it's got output 2 at 2.1 amps. Um, it also comes with a one year warranty, which is good to have. That's pretty standard. Um, so let me take you closer in on the device. Um, as you can see, it's just got a flat screen. Uh, it's got a protective covering over the solar panels. Now the screen light, now uh, keep in mind, I didn't, have, I didn't really have a user manual, so I didn't really know how to use this, um, but I figured it out pretty quickly. So perhaps that's why they don't include a user manual because it is pretty intuitive to figure out. Um, it's got a green light. Well, what that green light means is that it's charging because if you turn the lights off, you can see the green light goes away. When you put the lights on, it comes back. So we figured out quickly that the green light means that uh, it's in a light source and it's charging. Now it does charge up. It's a one and a half watt solar panel uh, that's 260 milliamps uh, at 5.5 volts. Uh, so it's not a, a huge solar panel, but uh, you know, just laying, laying around the house or if you want to take this traveling and you want to maybe go hiking for the day, uh, you could leave this in the source where we get the sun. Um, not direct sunlight where we get really hot. You don't want to you don't want to damage the the battery um, by placing it somewhere where it gets really hot. But uh, obviously it's designed to absorb light uh, and to charge it back up. So um, that's kind of a neat feature about this this battery pack. Uh, it is a solar charger battery pack, but but most battery packs don't have the solar charging component. And this one has it nicely integrated into the battery pack. Now I want to move down here. You have two ports right down there. Uh, hopefully you can see them. Uh, one on the back, on, there's your charge. One on the back says five volt, five volt, uh, one amp, and the other says N, and then five volt, two point one amp. Um, I noticed the description mentioned that it had an LED, uh, a battery, um, but there's, or no, sorry, not an LED battery, an LED flashlight. Um, so there's no LED flashlight. So you gotta be careful, um, you know, reading the description. So it's a good thing I'm making this video. So uh, you're out there, you're looking to purchase this product. You know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get one micro USB cable, which is good for charging it up and then flipping it out and you can charge up a device. Um, and that's it. Um, you can see some of the specs on the back. Now I wanna show you the performance of this unit. Um, you turn it up oh, real quick. Oh, real quick. You turn it off. Sorry, turn it on. There we are. That's what it looks like when it's on. It's just got a red light, and I've charged this one all the way up before I put it back in the packaging for the review. So I do like that it has a battery life indicator. It's very basic, but that's all you need. Um, but there is no LED flashlight. So uh, especially on a solar charger that's been designed to go outside, um, that would be a nice welcome feature. Um, also, usually when you get this size of a power bank, you'd see a little case that would come with it. Uh, that way you could travel with it. Um, this doesn't have a case, but again, it's got this protective film, so that, you know, that prevents you from directly damaging the solar panels. So right here, I have an iPad 2, and I have an iPad mini, and I just want to show you real quick what it looks like when we charge these up. Let's go here. And 
we'll put this one. Now, keep in mind, it's got a 2.1 amp and a 1 amp, so you can only charge. You can only charge uh, one iPad at 2.1. I would like to see both the ports be up to 2. Point. You can see. I just wanted to show you that. You can tell by the. I just connected the. Um, I just connected the iPad 2. Um, you can see the blinking red light indicating that it's charging the device. The green light indicating it's also getting light and it's charging that way. And it's got your status indicator of four LEDs right there. Um, let me hook up the other other one. Oh. This is the iPad Mini, and so we're going to be charging both of these at the same time. And I had no problems using this. Um, again, you can see that that one's charging. You can see up there, and we'll do this one, and you can see that that one's charging up there. So. Um, it charges both at the same time, like it claims. Uh, I mean, it charges fast. I mean, it's not. I'm not going to sit here for five hours and compare this one to another one and say, well, this this one charges in five hours, another one charges in four and a half hours. Um, but uh, what I'd like to see uh, in this is I'd like to see a lot of these power banks now. They have a power IQ or a um, some type of uh, USB recognizing device which will charge. Um, you know, apples and androids at the same um, at the same time. So uh, this possibly has that. I don't know because I didn't get any literature on it. Um, so I, I'm assuming that this is just a one amp and a 2.1 amp. I, I'm assuming that that's going to charge an iPad at 2.1 amps, um, and it's going to charge a phone at 1.5 amps. Um, I just don't know how it's going to charge it. So, I'd like to see both of these at 2.1. I don't, I don't see any reason why they can't go up to 2.1 on both of these. Perhaps it will, my only thing I can come to is that it might overheat the unit or it might be too much draining it too quickly. So, um, we'd like to see both of these ports up to 2.1 amps. Other than that, um, in a case, uh, a little bit, a bit of a user manual, a lot of these uh, power bank chargers, they also come with this. Uh, they also come with some extensions here, so I can get uh, a 30 pin iPad. I can get a. Uh, I haven't seen a lot with the lightning. Actually, I've seen none that come with a lightning kit connector. Um, I would like to see that, but they come with a 30 pin Apple. They come with a barrel pin connector. They come with a micro to. Uh, I'm sorry, not a micro, a uh, mini USB. Uh, so. Some of these, sometimes they come with these little different heads, which is good because then you only have one cable, but it can serve as four different heads and it can power up all your devices. So, um, again, that's the Enogear 8,000 milliamp hour solar charger. Um, what I did like about this unit too is that it's very thin. You can see how thin it is. Um, it's thin and flat. So if uh, you know if that's the shape you're into, uh, which is a good shape to be into, uh, you know. It's going to be. It's going to have an advantage over other uh, other brick-like uh, chargers. So, uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope this helps you make a decision.